Whatever makes you feel like you can lock in, that's what's important. Here we go. All right, here was the touchdown by Gus Caffrey, or Christian McCaffrey, generation. So the, uh, the touchdown, the pass was right there on the slant route into the end zone. The PAT, mm. it's up, and he it is that. good. Ooh. Sneaks it through on that left side there. So Gusto up 7-0, and we are back here live with gameplay with the kickoff from Gusto to M. Bryn Quinn. Once again, Larry Ridley on the call with you. Dave Grunfeld from Madden America live here for the Madden 18 Dolphins Club Championship presented by Wendy's here at Hard Rock Stadium, this beautiful facility. The canopy going across, keeping everybody dry because it rains in South Florida. Yeah, right? it sure does. Nice and humid down here, that's for sure. I'm sweating doing this thing, but, but we're, we're feeling good. I'm excited for, for Quinn here to uh, to show off Barry Sanders a little bit. Barry Sanders has obviously been wreaking havoc on pretty much everybody in the community uh, recently. So he's, he's mentioned that this is going to be his offense. He told us before the game that if he's going to win, it's going to be with Barry Sanders. If he's going to lose, it's going to be because they stuffed Barry Sanders. Yeah, so I'm, I'm interested to see Embrin Quinn. Once again, there he is right there, the oldest player in the club championship right now. Guys, he's 34, and he's old. <laughs> in this community. Yes, well, for this community, that I is mean, old. I tells yes. you where esports and gaming is going. Yeah. He's 34 and old. Absolutely, and he, he came up into this community with a lot of the, the real OGs who helped build what the Madden community Absolutely. is today. You know, the, the, the realities of the world, the big genes of the world. Big and he, genes, Philly Ron, Philly those Rons, guys. That's yes, right. that's exactly what he was talking about. That's right. You know, he's, he, he came up with some really, really impressive uh, impressive players. So I think he's going he's gonna to have a lot to work on right here. He's going to have Barry Sanders uh, <laughs> all day. He's going to be pounding the rock. First possession for Embrin Quinn, and he's running with Barry Sanders. Uh, the the cup man, oh, was Madden 25. All right. So Historic absolutely. right there. I like it. Yeah, and there's uh, Barry Sanders up the middle. Look oh, at wow. him just running over people. Power there. Picks up about seven yards. So it'll be third and one for M. Brent Quinn. Michael Brinson of the 34. He'll been playing competitive Madden since 04. Was in the finals in Tampa in 07 in Miami in 0. Was that 08 or was that 05? That was 05. I think it was 05 it when was he was 05, back in Miami. Actually, yeah. Way, way back in the day. Yeah. And you know, it's interesting. On his first two plays, he's run the ball up the middle. He's kept it between the tackles. What I'm really interested in seeing is Barry Sanders out in some space on some pitches, on some, uh, uh, on some, on some handoffs to the outside. You see him go up the middle again on third down. Nothing there. A quick fourth down on the first drive right here, Larry. Here we go. Fourth down and one there. So uh, a gain of none yards there. So this is competitive bad. You will not see uh, a lot of punting here. Not This is not simulation. And he's going for it on fourth and one. He's got Aaron Rodgers' as quarterback there. Twins to the left. Twins to the Not Finn. That's we right. Got the hands off the linebacker up the gut. And Gusto gets the ball. He bows his neck on a defensive stand. No first down for the Oak Barry Sanders. Gusto takes over first and 10, going the other way, Dave Grunfeld. Yeah, Gusto is not going to let HB Dive beat him today. He, he, is, he is committing to the middle of the field. He is not going to let that little quick handoff beat him. I, I, Bryn Quinn is going to have to make some adjustments. That, that first drive was not looking good. But I think that if he really gets to establish that run game to the outside, that's going to help a lot. And we see Gusto back in that five wide. And there he goes. There's Mike Vick. He's Mike loose. Mike Vick's got some room. He's, He's loose. to the right side. A little spin move there. Back into the safety. Brought down. A rush there for about 12 yards. We'll give him, yeah, we'll give him 12 or 13 there. First down and 10 uh, for Gusto. Great stop by Bryn. Uh, by Gusto, last possession there with his linebackers uh, doing a very good job there. So first and ten, Vic back in that gun. He's got a receiver going him. to the corner out. Dot right there to Ingram, out at around the two yard line. Mike Vic two for two, 99 yards passing. What a job he's done inside the goal line, first and goal for Gusto and Mike Vic. And you see right there, Bryn Quinn putting on the QB spy, having to respect the QB run. The throw down the sideline is wide open. Two for two for 99 yards is a pretty good quarterback rating, Larry. I'm, I'm, I'm no statistician, but I'm pretty sure that's pretty decent. We're going to give you something close to 158.3. <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect. There it is. Fullback dive. Full too back easy. Dive. Ingram in with the touchdown, the tight end there, and Gusto with the lead. 13-0, pending the extra point. So two drives, two touchdowns. Will it be two PATs? The point after attempt up right down Broadway. He's up 14-0. So two up, two down for Gusto. Uh, if you're if you're in, if you're Bryn and you know Bryn Quinn, we talked about this. You love to run Barry Sanders. Yeah. What can you do? And I asked him, what can you do when you get down? Can you throw that rock around the lot? He said he could. We're about to find out. We're about to find out if that's true. Absolutely. I think you know that not a lot of punting and competitive Madden as he gets a little space around the kick turn. 
that was a situation where he had a really bad defensive first possession. He let Gusto score easily. He was inside his own 30-yard line. You know he likes to run the ball. He likes to control the clock and manage it. Mm -hmm. Maybe considering punting, but you know what? The decision was made, and now he's down 14 nothing in the first quarter. Not the place you want to be in a big game like this, but it's also there's a lot of Madden left here. You know, if he gets things moving, he starts to establish Barry Sanders a little bit, maybe draw the defense down, bring those safeties down into the box. Then we can run some play action, run a, you know, kind of go over the top a little bit more. So he's in that, so he's going to run a lot of Barry Sanders. He talked about it, about, you know, look, I said, Embry, Embry, Embry and Quinn, what can you do? You know, can you come back and can you adjust? And he says, look, I've got Barry Sanders. I can run. I can throw. I want to run, but I am comfortable throwing the ball. So he's confident that he can come back, but he's got to get a turnover. That's what he sure. said. That's the key. Get the turnover sure. so you can get the ball back and you can control the clock, and then he's back in the game. You go down three scores, it might be Katie bar the door then. Absolutely. He, you know, he went 65-35 on his cap spending on defense. Yes. He really committed on D, like he said, to us pregame. He dropped back. Nice little dot. There we there go. There's a dot. No, he dropped, it. He, dropped no, it. he dropped it. He dropped it. it. Yep, that's incomplete. That first was pass a tight of the game. Yeah, first pass of the game. That's a tight squeeze right there. Not, not a great animation. But now, yeah, again, another huge fourth down inside his own 35. I mean, if he doesn't convert here and Gusto gets the ball back on... Quinn's 33-yard line, that's that's not looking great. One. Yeah, that's not looking great for Quinn. And Brent Quinn's his offense. Got some really speedy receivers, but, you know, can those guys hold the ball in traffic? Uh, you know, Randy Moss, some of those guys, you know, can you know can do both, but uh, that's a, a problem for some of these uh, receivers as far as holding on to the ball. So, got a flag there. So, it will be first and 10. Was that an offside? It was. So, if you don't adjust your line settings on defense, you can be drawn offside very easily. And a huge fourth down. He went for it right there. Got slight bailout, but you know what? At this point in the game, down 14 nothing, you'll take your first downs however you can get them. And you know, I know in traditional football, down 14 nothing early, throwing the ball nonstop. And Madden, Barry Sanders, one big play, one 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 little sliver of light, right. and it's a whole different ball game. So we're going to see a lot. I, I'm not going to be surprised if we still see him commit to the run, dink and dunk, find his throws on drags and slants. Impressive so far for MG Gusto. We talked mm -hmm. about it. He said he doesn't watch a lot of tape. He knows what his opponent and Brent Quinn is going to do. He says, look, I know he's going to run toss, so I'm prepared for it. I don't watch tape. Somebody told me that. <laughs> That's right. I'm like, wow, this guy's really good. Someone told him, and he's able to adjust. Not a lot of labbing, but he's up 14 nothing, and he's got a third and 21 right. uh, that he's looking at trying to slow down Embrin Quinn. Third and 21, Pick. back yeah. to pass. The bullet pass picked off there by his linebacker. Great job with the user. Backer still on his feet inside the 30 to around the 25, and there's the smile there. He's like, yeah, this guy can't hang with me. Yeah, he's I feeling pretty you. good right now. He's got, you know, you were saying he doesn't watch film. That plays into his confidence, that swagger that he's got. He wants to show up and dominate it. Right now, that's what he's done so far. He's gotten the turnover. His offense is looking smooth. Absolutely no answer for Mike Vick so far. Right now, Gusto is really, really looking impressive. Those backers, Anthony Barr, Hassan Reddick, Seth Weatherspoon, and Dewey McDonald doing a great job uh, for M.G. Gusto, and he takes Mike Vick out to the side on the left side is going to lose well, i thought maybe maybe a half a yard there but he actually gained about a half a yard second down and nine uh, for gusto as the clock winds down here in the first quarter wow if you're Embrin quinn this you need to hold him to a field goal here yeah i think that last play right there actually is a glimmer of hope right there for quinn that was a nice defensive play good vic d right there made sure there was no openings even as he rolled out left out of the pocket yeah, I mean, right now he needs to he needs to get a turnover. At the very least, he needs three points. But if he could get a turnover right here, get that offense in rhythm. He hasn't looked to be in rhythm. He dropped back to pass, got sacked, forced himself into a big third and long. That's not his game. Love that Dolphins-inspired controller right there, man. That, that is awesome. awesome. They've got a couple of those tonight. So, yeah. I'm trying to grab one of those before we get out of here. That's I'm awesome. i to sneak one, see if Catherine will let me get out of here. Yeah, there's Mike Vicker no on the right side, and he's in the end zone. You look at the speed there, and there's that three-score <laughs> lead. M.G. Gusto shaking his head like, yeah, <laughs> I'm in control here. Guys, I told you, I'm got, I've got confidence. I've got swagger. I know the guy's going to run toss, and he can't throw on me. Ball game. That's pretty much it right there. Gusto at this point has pretty much been Nostradamus. He pretty much called how this game was going to go. Called the uh, shot. You know, it's going to so be So far, it's still early. It's it still is early. early. You know, and, and it's funny because there really is a lot of time left. But this drive right here, if we don't see some sort of some progress, not necessarily a one-play score, but we need to move the ball here for if we're Quinn because I might think about switching it up. I might think about throwing the ball on first down. I might think about maybe passing out of a running formation, doing something, anything to get Gusto, you know, off of his game a little bit. Embrin Quinn running the kickback with Ed Reed, his safety. 
One of the greats from down here in South Florida. Play at the U and whoa, what a big hit big there. Game. Barry Sanders is getting no running room. Eight carries, less than two yards per carry. What, 1.4, 1 1.25 so 1 far? 1.25, not, not yeah, eight not carries and 10 yards. Yeah, and we see there, you know, eight rushes, two passes, we're down 21. You know, Quinn, uh, right now it's time to use A-Rod. It's time, time, to, time to figure this thing out. And, and, or excuse me, uh, Jared Goff is actually his quarterback, the uh, team of the week, Jared Goff. We want to see what he can do. He's got a guy. There he is. Nice check down. Found his drag. All right, so there we go. Those are the types of plays he's going to be here. Only two yards, but at least it's a completion. At least it's something to build a little bit of momentum off here. It is a positive play. There is hits the receiver Jones coming across on that drag route. So we've got a third down for Michael Brinson and Brent Quinn. He's got the family here today. They're trying to root him on. If he can just get a first down and get some things going, he can get back in this game. And there's the toss. I mean, the slant to Ingram, and he can't hold on to it. So you look at his quarterback, Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers, one for four. Jared Goff, He's, actually, a QB for him. Oh, okay. Well, it said Rodgers there. Oh, maybe maybe he switched it up last I, I minute. I think he did. I, that's why I saw Rodgers okay. early on. I thought it was Aaron Rodgers. Right, you're right. Aaron right. Rodgers. Fair enough. Well, then even better. I mean, this, this is one of the best quarterbacks in Madden. We need to be passing as much as possible here for Quinn. But fourth and ten, this is not, not a spot you want to be in. That's a really oh, that's not a good read. Yeah, that's going to be tough right there. One for five with a pick and two yards. Gusto has been really, really impressive so far on defense. And the strength of Gusto Green's defense is the salary cap. He spent most of his money right. on the DBs, and pretty much whatever was left over, he spent it on Vic. So he's got a good second there with Sherman, Norman, Rondé Barber, Paul Krause, and Micah Hyde. I mean, it's going to be tough sledding if you want to come back and throw the ball, unless you've got some 90 receivers out there. Right. I, I don't see it, Dave. Well, you know, Help me and, out here. yeah, you know, and, and because of how he built his team on defense for, for, for Gusto, you know, he mentioned to us uh, pregame, he likes to pick his blitzes very, very selectively. He's not a guy, a lot of guys doesn't in the community blitz doesn't blitz a lot. Guys like Mills, they're screaming almost every down. They're coming after you, making you make a read quickly. Gusto feels like his front four are going to get pressure. That secondary that you just went through, I mean, that's tough to pass on. You need some really, really good receivers to get some separation off of those guys. I like that 3-3-5 three, three, wide defense as well. Mm -hmm. And there's McCaffrey up the gut. Inside the 10, and he just got tripped up. First and goal for MG Gusto. And look, if we were playing, you know, uh, regular Madden or, uh, you know, on regs or in a challenger or something like that, 24 point lead is a skunk. Well, yeah, 21 point lead is a skunk a lot of the time <laughs> where, where, where I come from. But, you know, this is this is also something that's cool mercy. about these. The mercy rule, right. But you know what? We've seen some crazy stuff happen. We saw Volterax come sure. back in the Arizona Cardinals Club Championship after, after uh, he, you know, he was down 17. And he, he put together a comeback. He had Randy Moss all over the field for him. This is a big deficit. This is a lot of points. It's going to take something special for Quinn to get back into this. We've seen crazier things happen, Larry. And there is the college football player we just saw in the hoodie there going to FIU. And there is M. Brent Quinn. Michael Brinson needs to get a stop here. There is McCaffrey, and he brings down Christian McCaffrey there. A gain of about one, so it'll be third and goal. This will be huge here if he can just get a field goal attempt here. They're only down 24 nothing, and that's three scores and three two-point conversions. It's somewhat no, no doable. No problem, yeah, no but problem. But you're going to have to score, and you're going to have to get stops <laughs> here. Or it is going to be, the, 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 you're going to have a math problem. It, 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 we have a math problem right now. This is not looking good for Quinn. Uh, and at this point, you know, for, for Gusto, he can try some stuff right now. You know, he, he's, he's under center. This is something that he doesn't normally do. Running uh, down the he, clock as well, down yeah, to the two-minute warning. He is in the red zone, you know, so under center makes a little bit more sense. But, you know, right now he can be free and easy. You know, he can, he can let Mike Vick do what Mike Vick does. He can look for something in the end zone. He's just, he's just running back and forth. Nobody on oh, the field. Oh, and he brought down <laughs> for a loss of about 25. <laughs> Those are the kind Around of Around the 32, backs. but look, this field goal is going to be about 50 yards now instead of an extra point. You got a 47-yarder <laughs> here. It yeah. was not going to be an extra point, but those are the types of dropbacks that you can take when you're up 21-0 right, in the right. first half. You know, you can mess around a little bit. You can kind of have some fun with it. So 47 yards right here. Bring it down around the 37 at the 10 yards. It'll be 47-yard field goal attempt. Uh, both guys, I don't know how much they spent on the kickers. It doesn't look like a whole lot. So he's going to let the clock run down here. Five seconds to go. Kick is up and no win right down the middle there at Hard Rock Stadium. So MG Gusto has the lead 24 0, a buck 44 left in the first half. M. Bryn Quinn has to get it going. Mock Schnell, fastly, Dave Grunfield. <laughs> 
Yeah, I mean, you know, what I said about running with Barry Sanders earlier, you know, a minute and 40 seconds with two timeouts to a competitive Madden player is an eternity. He has plenty of time to get down the field and score here. The problem is, if he does that, he's still got a few more touchdowns that he needs to get down and score. And really, at this point, he can score all he wants. He needs to find a way to, to, to play some defense and, and figure out that Mike Vick problem. Michael Brinson, the 34-year-old oldest competitive Madden player, the Doll fan, uh, because of his grandmother. That's why he's rooting on the Dolphins now, and he's got his... He's got his girl here, and he's got his kid here. He's got some family here. Want to get it going so they can have something to cheer about. And there's Barry Sanders up over the right side. Gain of maybe a yard. Actually, no gain there. Third down and 10. Uh, not only is there a score problem, there's also a clock problem. Now, you don't want to leave too much time for Gusto, that guy, to get the ball back. But decent field position, maybe go up on five scores. Yeah, especially with three timeouts. I mean, this is, you know, again, another third and 10. That looks like a tough read right oh, there. Oh, what a yeah, pick by a big, Paul Krause. Paul Krause laying On the out, ground, and he's got a little speed out. with the one bar taken out of bounds there. And that yes. is the third pick going back the other way. What a pick there by Paul Krause. And he's got in the center of the field there. The center of the field is closed. Yeah. He's, he's got that deep single safety. And what a dive by Paul Krause. Old school kicking it right there for Paul Krause. you got to love those. That old school helmet, that old school face mask. Call it the moon. The, the elbow pads the elbow on there. Pads. Oh, I love that. That's, that's fantastic. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the benefit right there of, uh, of Gusto spending all that cap on his secondary. You know, he doesn't have to blitz. He can drop back into coverage and basically let Quinn make a bad read and he gets the ball back. Once again, you talk with Ember and Quinn. I said, hey, can you throw the ball? He says, look, I run it. I can throw, but I want to run, but right. I need turnovers as well. And right now, none of those things are coming to fruition. There's Christian McCaffrey There's off the left-hand side, and there is another touchdown. And now he's got a huge lead, and he's dancing in the end zone. 30 to nothing so far, pinning the extra point. MG Gusto making it look easy here with 35 seconds remaining. And he is up big here live at Hard Rock Stadium. He's up 31-0, the Florida International University football player came to play here in Madden. He doesn't study tape, but I'll tell you what. He looks like he studies tape. He has come out here prepared. What's they say? Study long, study wrong. Hey, there you go. You know, and it's funny because Quinn mentioned that before the game, too. He said, I didn't overwork myself. I didn't I didn't yep. try and grind, you know, the entire time before this. This is the first game he Took played today. Took the day today. off yesterday. Took like, the day off yesterday. Oh, here we go. He might have gotten something right here on There's this kick return. Reed. There's a little space. bit of space. Yes, sir. All right, we got points on the board Throw right here. Throw up the U, where's yes. the turnover chain? Ed Reed's in the house. Maybe we've got a ball game. Make some fan, some noise, doll fans. We want a ball game. It's now 31 to six. They're getting loud like the 12s out in Seattle and the Jets fans last week. Love it to see the Dolphins, and here's the two-point conversion. Look, if he can get a couple scores, he's getting the maybe ball we're back. singing a different tune here. He's getting oh, the ball back. Oh, what a that, hit there. That's not the one right there. That's not the one. Uh, that, that, that's a tough try and conversion on that two-point conversion right there. But, you know, I mean, even from a, from a mental standpoint, you know, not having that goose egg next to your name is nice, you know, and, and he's going to get the ball in the second half, and he's going to have to throw the ball against a, a guy who's going to be playing a lot of really, really tough pass defense. All right, there's McCaffrey. On the kickoff return there, decent field position. 21 seconds left, full complement of timeouts there. All three uh, for Gusto. Uh, probably needs about 10, 20, 30, about 30 yards, and he can kick a legitimate field goal. It would be about 57 yards there. He's just going to take gonna this take, thing. That, yep, he's going to clock it out. Yep. Here's the guy that's thinking, I've got 1,500 bucks on the line here. I'm not going to play any games. I'm not going to give an opportunity for this guy to maybe steal a score and maybe get the ball back in the second half. And now we really have a ball game and I have to sweat this thing out. He's thinking strategically there. Look, there's a huge difference between 1000 and 2500 bucks. Oh, when the bread is on the line. And now that winning and moving on to Orlando. When bread and pride are on the line on this big of a stage, you don't want to take any chances. We saw him get sacked on that big drop back. You know, that was a little bit loose. I think in the second half he's going to tighten up and, and, and handle this thing in the second half. All right, we're going to move to the second half of play here, and there's, we just saw Brent Quinn, and there's Gusto, got the hoodie on. He's locked in. He's locked in, dude. That's the perfect word, locked in. Had a couple of smiles when he was up 31-0, as TD is running around here, clowning around, messing with folks. What up, TD? Come and holler at us, man, during a break. Uh, the Dolphins mascot here. They used to have Flipper. 
That's right. Back in the day, right? That's right. That's a throwback, <laughs> uh, throwback mascot <laughs> shout out right there. Very nice, Larry. His name wasn't Flipper. I'm thinking about Pet Detective. <laughs> well, listen, Ace Ventura <laughs> is never a bad time. That's always going to be good. Right now, the detective needs to be Quinn. Though. Yes, he needs he to figure out what the heck's yeah, going on he here. Needs to, he needs to make yeah. some adjustments right now. We mentioned this before the game. This is a unique offense that, that Gusto is running. This is Mike Vick. This is spreading the field out. Not an easy thing to make adjustments to. We saw kind of in the red zone, Quinn started to make some adjustments. He was spying two of his D linemen, really kind of trying to just contain Vick as best as he could. In the second half, he needs to do, do more of that and get that pass game going. Or if he can't, he needs to find some way to get Barry Sanders some space. Because right now, he's running the ball between the tackles, and it is getting stuffed every single time. Gusto doing a good job out of that bunch quad. So let's take a look at how he was able to build that 25-point lead here in the first half, live here at Hard Rock Stadium for the Madden 18 Dolphins Club Championship presented by Wendy's. And here was the first touchdown of the day. This is when we had a technical issue, and he was able to throw a, a corner route down there. But then he lost some yardage, and then he hits a dot right across the middle there to McCaffrey on that post route right there, Dave. Yeah, wide open in the middle of the field. Nobody there. Absolutely just burns his man. You know, that, that that's, that's going to be a problematic route for sure. You see right here, just a bad read uh, by Quinn. You know, tried to force the ball over Anthony Barr. Anthony Barr is one of the tallest, fastest Beast linebackers in Madden. He, he's, he's not going to let that ball get over him. And we see a little fullback dive. This is where the game really started to turn. His second and 12, big sack right there, forced into a huge third and 21, wasn't able to convert, turn that back into points hit. on the other side. We've seen a, a pretty dominant performance here by Gusto. You see Mike Vick, I mean, right there, untouched, 27 yards into the end zone. That kind of defense is just not going to get it done right here. Yeah, so now we're here, 31-6, to Gusto with the lead over Embrin Quinn uh, as we move into the second half in the third quarter. Look, it's not over, guys, and I know we're having a little fun here. Uh, look, Gusto's playing well, but it is not over, but it is a game of possessions. Mm -hmm. And if you're Embrin Quinn, you're probably looking at three or four more possessions. You have to score on all four of them, and you need probably two or three turnovers to even have a shot here. Yeah. He needs to have one early here in the third quarter, Dave. I'm going to be interested to see if Gusto wants to kind of go for the... Go, go for, for the Gusto. Go, go no, for the don't go for the Gusto. Don't you go for the Gusto. You know, because it's interesting. You know, when you have a guy who has a lot of confidence, he's, he's out here ready to prove himself. Yes. They want to put points on the board. You want to go score. And he's, a, he's a guy who's going to spread the field out and score some points. The but how do you balance the aggressiveness, though? Right. That's going to be the key for him in the second half because this is a situation where he can pretty much hang out. But maybe that mental edge is going to kind of get inside his head. He wants to put some more points on the board. He's going to have to kind of contain that within himself. All right, let's go back to the stage and get back here into the game. Play Larry Ridley alongside my good buddy from Madden America, Dave Grunfeld. Want to say hello to the Grunfelds out there in Los Angeles. Is that correct? That is correct. They're Very in LA on the West Coast watching here on Twitch. Dot TV slash Madden and also on MommyDolphins.com. Colleen and Dan Grunfield, thanks for watching, guys, and everybody else watching here on Twitch on MommyDolphins.com. And there he is, Brent Quinn. Got to pick it up. He knows it. I like it. Confident. He's got his folks here. Going to be kicking off here. Gusto will get the ball first, and this is what we're talking about. You've got probably four possessions if you're lucky. You need two or three turnovers and no scores, Dave. Yeah, well, well, Quinn actually getting the ball first, so he's going to have a chance to do what you just said. He needs to go out there and score right away. I mean, right, we see right here, there it is, Barry Sanders. Okay, bouncing outside, finding a little bit of space out there. That's the kind of run that he's going to need to be getting on first down every time. First positive rush of the day, basically. 11 carries, 23 yards uh, for Barry Sanders. You look at Augusto. Uh, Augusto. He's giving up negative seven yards passing. Yeah, anytime you got that's a passing yardage in the negatives, you're doing something right on defense. That's 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 absolutely right. And we saw, you know, talk about team construction. If you see Barry Sanders shrugging off defenders, talk about you know team construction. You can throw the ball, you can make reads, you can do all that. If you don't have the roster, if you don't have the team designed to let you pass the ball, right. it's going to be very difficult. Right. So that's he's got a think... toss there. Oh, if he did run into his man, he would have had a seam and a one-on-one -on -one shot with Paul Cross, who's a really good, sure tackler and a really good interceptor in this ball game as well. He's a really good player, uh, uh, a stud here, the old school player, Paul Kraus. But a great job there by Barry Sanders. Picks up about eight, third and two right here. He's got two downs to pick up two yards. Yeah, I think he, he's got to try and get it right here. Interesting, he's oh, going to throw the ball on the screen. Pass screen. I like it. Barry. Very nice. Uh, oh, what a great job by that defense of Gusto. Yeah, just slightly missed time that spin right there. That's an, a really, really kind of cool play call, actually, on third and short right there. A little bit against the grain. Uh, didn't quite work out for him. One of the impressive things by Quinn, actually, even though he's kind of had a rough go of it in this game, he has kept his emotions completely even keeled. Right there, as you see him right now, he has not changed that facial expression the entire game, even though he's gone down big. Tight slots. He's got to open up. Oh, he had B, but oh, great job hitting the drag rock. Oh, Jones putting the move on his defensive back there. Oh, he fumbles it. Trying to do a little too much and getting some extra yards, and he 
drops it down on... <coughs> Yeah. <laughs> he coughed it up, coughed Dave. That thing up. Oh, my goodness. You know, you said it best. He tried to do a little bit too much, and I think that's actually going to be the ball game right there. We're going to call this thing right now. Wow, that's it. So there is a skunk rule today. Uh, that's going to be it. Up by 25. He had one possession. Now he's get, he gets the ball, and that will be it as those guys. Great sportsmanship. They do shake hands. Feel bad for Brent Quinn. I wasn't his best effort there. Oh, man, I wish he just could have gotten Barry Sanders going and we would have had a game here. But congratulations to Gusto. He gets the win 31-6. Uh, to 6, He moves on. Uh, what did you see there, Dave? Yeah, you know, I think uh, Gusto came out and did exactly what he said he was going to do. You know, he, he used Mike Vick to the best of his ability. There was no answer on defense for, for Vick. And, I, and, and on, when Gusto was on defense, let his front four get pressure, let that high cap secondary really kind of handle business and just kind of drop back and, and, and let uh, Quinn make some bad reads. And yeah, you know, I feel bad for him as well. Not a great showing, but you know what? He has a lot to be proud of. You know, right. being, being a 34 year old, being a guy who's been competing for over 10, 15 years to make it to this stage, it's an accomplishment of itself. And he's, he's walking home with a thousand bucks, which is not too bad. Well, you look at Ember and Quinn, he did spend a lot of lab time. Not yesterday, he took a day off, but he spent a lot more lab time than Gusto. He knew what was coming. He's like, look, I know the guy's going to run QB draw with Michael Vick. I know of the formations that he's going to run. He was really dialed in, but wasn't able to execute. It, it really kind of speaks to, look, I mean, you got one guy didn't spend a whole lot of time, had some free time, and he was able to execute. A guy that did some labbing was not able to execute. I feel bad even talking about Gusto winning here. You didn't really <laughs> work as hard as Brent Quinn. Yeah, well, you know, I think that's also part of being loose. He came up here and, and he, he was unapologetically himself. He did, he ran his system. He didn't let the moment Someone overtake him. Someone told me what the other guy's going to do. Yes. I had no idea. I don't watch tape. That's I don't care. Right. He's chilling, man. He's out here and wow. he, he, he that was a very impressive performance and he's into the into the final. All right, he is. He moves on to the final with a 31 to 6 win over Brent Quinn. Standing by our third member, Douglas Esquire, outside live inside of Hard Rock Stadium. Douglas Esquire, go ahead. All right, I'm over here with MG Gusto. Rob the Gusto, my goodness. All right, so what's the deal? Now, now, what did you see at this game? Was it defense or was it offense? What's your approach? Uh, really defense, because pretty much everybody knew what I was going to do, so defense. If I play, play good on defense and I lock them down, don't let them put up no points, I know I won the game. All right, now you said you played football. You, now, what position did you play? Linebacker. That makes a lot of sense, right? Did you see the defense right here? A lot of turnovers. Was that was that your game plan? Yeah, that's my that's my that's my game plan for the jump. If I can make him turn over the ball, I won. Well, uh, it looked like you won. He he kind of he kind of submitted at that point. So so tell me about Mike Vick. My goodness, Mike Vick. Is that your go-to right there? Is that what you roll with? Right, him to the promised land. You got to stop Mike Vick to beat me. I saw you went all the way out wide. You're like, let me just go ahead and take over a little Mike Vick action. And he, the, the throws were on point. How's your offense? What's your offensive approach like? Uh, honestly, it's, it's run first. I know it's five wide, no running back in the backfield, but it's run first. So you stop the run, you got to force me to pass. Took care of business. My man, you are on to the finals right here. You could be going to the Pro Bowl. You got one more game left. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, we're standing here, going to the finals, MG Gusto. Appreciate it, Douglas. Gusto Green got the folks.